Remember how amazing Flash Fill was when you saw it for the first time? Well, there's a new feature that's 10 times better. It's called Formula by Example. Simply give Excel an example or two, and it will suggest a formula to complete the task. It's 10 times better than Flash Fill because it isn't a one time and done solution. Being a formula, it automatically picks up any changes in the data. Now, it's still in the early stages of development and only available in Excel Online for US English users of Microsoft 365 with a personal or family subscription. And this also means that the functionality I'm going to show you in this video may change before it's generally available. Now, don't worry if you don't have one of those subscriptions because there's a link in the video description where you can try it out. Let's take a look at some examples. Extracting text from a cell is now easy to do with formula by example. Just give it an example or two, click on show formula. There's the formula it's proposing. If I'm happy with it, I can click apply and you can see it's split the text after the period. Here we can split text into first name and last name columns. Again, give it a few examples. If you think it's going to get the formula right, you can take a gamble and click apply. Notice it also corrects the case, so it's detected that I wanted uppercase first initial, and it's also applied it for miles. We can see it's built into the formula with the use of the proper function. Let's see how it handles the surname. Let's have a look at the formula. It's a bit more complicated, this formula, because it's realized that some names have a middle initial, so it needs to allow for that. It hasn't quite fixed the case sensitivity here, and that's probably because I didn't get to give it the example for this name. We can go ahead and fix the ones that it got wrong. It's detected that I wanted to correct the formula, and we can now see it's wrapped in the proper function. And if we take a look, you can see it's been applied to all the cells in the column. So it auto corrects itself. It can also rearrange data. For example, here I might want my phone numbers separated with a hyphen between each set of three digits. Let's give it some examples. Let's see. Formula's quite long, it's a bit much to try and get my head around, so I'm just going to click apply and see if it looks correct. And we can see it's correctly split each of the numbers with a hyphen between the first and second set of three digits. Joining text is similar. We've got a few names with some case issues, so let's see how it handles that. Let's have a look at the formula. It's wrapped it in proper, so it looks like it's detected that we need to correct some of the names. We'll click apply, and that looks perfect. Formula by example can also handle math equations. It's triggered when it detects the manual entry of data that could be derived with a formula. It's detected that I appear to be multiplying the quantity times the price. Let's click apply and there we go. It's replaced my hard keyed values with the formula. And that way, if I make a change to this, it's going to feed through and update automatically. Extracting date information from a list of dates is also super easy. Let's take a look here. I want the year. Let's see what it gives me. Pretty straightforward, just the year function. And there we go. What if I want the month name? So it's going to convert the date into a text formula and format it to just show the month name. And there we go. Perfect. You see how it goes at the month end. It's 31 days in May, as is March, 30 in September. It's detected that a formula could do the job and it's going to use the end of month function to find the last day and then just extract the day. Let's apply it and perfect. But what if we wanted to see the actual month date, not just the day? So let's see. And you'll notice it's not coming up with a suggestion, despite the previous example correctly using the end of month function. Obviously something that needs to be developed. Dynamic row numbering is super easy. Just start to enter consecutive numbers and it detects that we're numbering the column. It's going to use the row function. Let's apply it. Now the cool thing about this is if I add a row, notice that the numbering has automatically adjusted. And likewise, if I delete a row, it correctly updates. 
Like row numbering, you can give Excel a set of examples and it will detect the pattern and suggest a formula to complete the column. So let's say I want these to be SKU numbers that start with E, 0, 0, and then a number. Let's have a look at the formula and we'll apply. The problem is it hasn't correctly numbered once it gets to 10. Let's fix that and it's going to correct the formula now. Click apply and you can see they're all updated. Now this formula will work until we get to 100 and then it's going to have the same problem as we had with 10. That's because it's prefixing everything with E-0. So what we really need is E- so we'll remove the zero and we'll make this three digits long. And you'll notice it still returns the same result, but if we got to E100, it would correctly format it as a three digit number. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Check out the link in the video description where you can try out Formula by Example if you don't have a suitable 365 subscription. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful? Thanks for watching.